वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग क्रिएशन टुडे वी विल सॉल्व अ सिंपली स्पॉटेड बीम विद सिमेट्रिकल ट्राई एंगुलर लोडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कैलकुलेट दी स्पॉट रिएक्शन देन परफॉर्म एन इक्विलिब्रियम चेक एंड एट दी एंड वी विल ड्रॉ फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम सो लेट स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ रिएक्शन फोर्सेज हेर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ बीम ऑफ फोर मीटर लेंथ विद सिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर लोड यूनिफॉर्मली इंक्रीजिंग टूवर्ड्स दी सेंटर ऑफ बीम इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ अ ट्राई एंगुलर शेप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कैलकुलेट द टोटल लोड एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम हेर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ लोड इन ट्राई एंगुलर फॉर्म सो वी विल यूज एरिया ऑफ ट्राई एंगल विच इज हाफ बेस इन टू हाइट हेयर द बेस इज लेंथ एंड हाइट इज दिस सिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर द टोटल लोड आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन विल बी ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन हेर यू कैन सी द बीम इज सिमेट्रिकल इफ वी कट द बीम इन टू टू हाफ देन देन राइट हाफ एंड लेफ्ट हाफ बोथ आर सेम सो इट मीन्स द लोड विल बी equally divided into these two sports that is RA and RB so RA and RB would be equal so RA and RB would be total load divided by 2 which will be equals to 6 kN each we can calculate the sport reaction with the help of this formula WL by 4 let's perform an equilibrium check for that we will use the condition of equilibrium which is the sum of all the forces acting in vertical direction will be zero ra and rb both are in upward direction we will consider them as positive and this total load is acting this is the triangular load that is acting in downward direction which is considered as negative so the sum of all these three will be zero it means our sport reactions are correct let's draw a free body diagram Here you can see we have a beam AB of four meter length with triangular load of six kilo newton per meter with support reactions six kilo newton on each side. Let's derive a shear force equation. Here you can see we have a beam of four meter length. If we cut this beam into two halves, then this half and this half both are symmetrical with same loading pattern and same support. reactions so we will drive the shear force equation for one half and then we will replicate it for the other one in opposite direction so this is the shear force equation we will consider the shear at distance x from support a for that this point of loading will be considered as w x and this load will be 6 kilo newton per meter now ra is in upward direction which will be considered as positive and minus for this triangular loading because this is in downward direction and this is the total load which will be calculated with the help of area of triangular that is half base into height base is x and height is wx so let's calculate wx with the help of the concept of similar triangles here you can see we will compare these two triangles that is perpendicular wx over base that is x for this smaller triangle and for this larger triangle that is w divided by it with the l by 2 this is the l by 2 the total length is l and the half is l by 2 so wx will be 2 into w into x divided by l now putting this value of wx in this number 1 to get the general shear force equation that is wx square by l after simplifying this so this is our general shear force equation let's draw a shear force diagram with the help of this shear force equation that we have derived this is our beam ab at point a the distance is 0 so we will put 0 x 0 in this shear force equation to get shear force at point a that is 6 kN so draw a 6 kN line here in the upward direction 
let's calculate the shear force at the center of beam that will be the 2 meter from A sport so after putting 2 in this equation the shear force is 0 at the center of beam so draw a parabolic curve here up to the center here you can see this is the half of shear force diagram which is positive the other half the loading pattern is same but opposite so the other half will be the same in the downward direction so this is our total shear force diagram let's draw a bending moment diagram with the help of this shear force equation just multiply the this shear force equation with the moment arm to get the bending moment equation here is the ra we are considering the moment at distance x so the moment arm for ra will be considered as x that is ra into x and minus for this triangular loading that is in downward direction which will bend the beam in anti-clockwise direction w x square by l is the total triangular load into the centroid of this loading that is x by 3 from this point if you want to know the centroid the detailed video is in description you can go and watch the video so after simplifying this equation our bending moment equation will be r a x minus w x cube over 3 l so let's draw a bending moment diagram for that we have a beam a b of 4 meter length at a sport the distance is 0 so we will put x 0 in this equation to get the bending moment at A that is 0 and for maximum moment we will put x is equals to 2 meter because at 2 meter the shear force is 0. So the maximum bending moment will be 8 kN meter at the center of beam. So this is our bending moment diagram with maximum bending moment of 8 kN meter. We can find the maximum bending moment with the help of this formula as well. This is our problem. Here is the free body diagram. This is the shear force diagram with maximum shear force of 6 kN. And this is the bending moment diagram with maximum bending moment of 8 kN meters.